My dogs hate each other. My dogs are constantly fighting. That's like a massive issue I deal with um, with a lot of my online clients. As you can see, I've done what everyone else said is impossible. I have two intact male Kane courses living in harmony. I've proven to the average person that it can be done. And I just kind of want to share some tips with you guys on, uh, I'm gonna, I have a flirt pole right now. I'm gonna tire out these guys. Justice, come here, drop. So I just want to share some like, things that you guys can work on if your dogs are fighting. Justice, sit. Bruce always takes command of whatever like I tell Justice to do. Justice, stay. Bruce, okay, Bruce. Good boy, Bruce. So just tire them out a little bit. Leave it, Justice. Good boy, Bruce. Good boy. And this is gonna work on Justice's like impulse control. Uh, I'm gonna tire out Bruce a little bit. Give it to Bruce, I don't want him to go too hard. I love flirt poles. You just gotta make sure you use them properly so you don't hurt your dog. Especially, um, Bruce is sick, he's got some back problems, so I don't wanna go too hard on him. Drop. Good boy, okay, Justice. Justice, stay. And the thing is, you can't make um, any dog like another dog. Just like some people don't like me, some of you guys watching may not like me, but you may just enjoy the dogs. Um, you know, I can't make everyone like me, I can't, and you can't make your dog like every dog. Even if your dog likes dogs, they may not like every dog. So it really starts, Justice, okay. It really starts before you get that second dog. You have to know your first dog. Bruce, let's go! Good boy. You have to know the energy of your first dog. You have to know their temperament, their tolerance, um, how, they, how well they're socialized, if they get along with other dogs very well. Bruce, stay. Bruce, drop. Good boy. Bruce, let's go. Justice, sit. Justice, stay. Sorry, it's a little difficult to um, control two dogs and do a video on a certain topic. So I do have notes on my phone. If you guys see me looking at my phone, it's just because I don't want to miss anything I want to discuss with you guys. Um, Bruce, Justice, leave it. Bruce, okay, Bruce. Justice, stay. Good boy. Bruce, yep. Good boy, Bruce. Oh, good. Bruce, drop. You got it. Good boy, Bruce, drop. Justice, stay. Okay, Bruce. Justice, stay. Bruce, yep. You can see Bruce loves this thing. Good boy. Justice, drop. Justice, okay, go get it. So you really first and foremost need to know the temperament of your first dog before you get that second dog. Um, how tolerant are they with other dogs? How socialized are they with other dogs? Do they enjoy being around other dogs? That's first and foremost, but unfortunately a lot of people don't think of that and they just assume that their dog's gonna like every dog that they meet. They're, they assume that they're gonna like the dog that you bring home, which isn't the case. Now I knew how Bruce Wayne was around puppies and I knew he wasn't gonna like justice. As many of you know, I have so many videos when I first started training Bruce and Justice. When we got Justice, my goal was to not train Justice in obedience, but to train them together to live in harmony, to not fight, to get along, to understand one another. Let me get them back in frame. Let's go! Good boys! One of my recent clients had a very aggressive case where the dogs couldn't even be in the same room together. Um, they had a Corso and they had a Golden. Or they, they have a Corso and a Golden, I should say. And it, actually the Golden was like vicious to the Corso. And I have video footage. Um, I was able to work with him and now things are like 80% better. The dogs can be together, they can play together. I even have video footage of them drinking off the same hose when prior they couldn't even be in the same room together. I'm not sure if I still have the video footage. If I do, I'll throw it up on the screen here where the Golden was crated and the Corso came in the room and that Golden was trying to just rip through that crate. It could not tolerate being around another dog. Um, so gathering information, gathering video footage, I basically reverse engineered things and put everything into proper place for him to follow along and things are working out great. So just gonna give you guys some tips. Every case is different. What works for one may not work for another, um, but I just wanna share some tips if you guys are having dogs that are fighting or if you're planning on getting a second dog, which you can do to 
to best navigate the situation so everybody lives in harmony. Justice Day. Bruce. Bruce Wayne. Okay. Now, first and foremost, you have to be the proper leader to your dog. Um, without a leader, they are going to try to become the leader. They are going to take control because dogs are pack animals, right? Good stay, Justice. Dogs are pack animals. They need a leader and they need a hierarchy. And that's what a lot of people don't understand. So if you have your leadership in place, where the dogs see you and every human in the house, not just you, every human in the house is a leader to them. That's when you really need to make sure you have the rest of the pack hierarchy intact. I have a bunch of amazing online training courses uh, that are gonna teach you guys how to be a proper leader to your dog, how to work on them with obedience. Justice is just like a foamy mess when he gets that tennis ball in his mouth. <laughs> so, Bruce, come here. So first and foremost, you need your obedience now. You need to be that leader that your dog needs. Those training courses are going to give you the knowledge and wisdom on how to train your dog, how to understand your dog. That's the thing, a lot of people don't even understand dog behavior, what your dog's telling them. Um, and how to just work with your dog to best be their leader and get that amazing manners. Uh, Bruce, you're so strong. My hand's hurting, bro. Get those house manners and get everybody living in harmony. So those are linked down in the description box below. Um, you'll save 10% using code Jason. So throw that in there as well. If you use my link, I do get a small commission and it helps support my family, helps support the boys. It allows me to bring this content to you guys. Justice drop. I have some amazing footage of um, amazing pack hierarchy guys and how the dogs understand the pack hierarchy. As you guys know, Justice is not allowed on the couch. I should say was, wasn't was allowed on the couch, past tense. The other day I came out of my office, Bruce is outside, Justice is on the couch and Bruce is spotting, he's looking at me like, can I do this? So I just kind of ignored it, um, told him good boy, you know, that he wasn't doing anything wrong and he just relaxed. I let Bruce in and Justice immediately got off the couch. I'm like, oh, interesting. He's understanding the pack hierarchy maybe, or it was a coincidence. Next day I was on the couch. Justice put his paw up there. Bruce was outside asking if he can get on the couch. Remember your dogs have to earn everything and Justice has earned his spot through, you can see how obedient he's being right now. He's really earned his place. So I'm giving him more luxuries in life, let's say. So I let him up, Bruce is outside. 20 minutes later, Bruce came in. Justice immediately got off the couch. You didn't have to tell him to, because he respects the hierarchy. He knows that's Bruce Wayne's spot, and he wasn't allowed up there before, so he's respecting it. Now, if there's ever an incident where Justice is up there, and Bruce wants up there, and there's like any, any growling, Justice is off there for, again, for quite a while. Justice is a year, nine months old. So, you know, he's definitely earned his place. Justice, you are disgusting. You are gross. You got foam everywhere, bro. Bruce, drop. Drop. He wasn't dropping, so I was growling at him, saying, no, bro, you gotta drop it. First and foremost, Bruce, wait, leave it. Hey, I said leave it. You gotta establish who is above who amongst the dogs. Now, obviously being a puppy when we got Justice and Bruce wasn't a puppy, Bruce was the leader. Now in two years that could change, right? That Maybe justice will be above Bruce. But right now I'm going with what the dogs um, are telling me. Bruce, okay, get it. So establish who's among who in the dog's uh, eyes. Bruce is first. So then you want to follow that hierarchy, right? So it's the human first, it's me, then it's Kara, then it's Bruce and it's Justice. And it's not me because I'm the dude, it's me because I am the one that's taking the lead in all the training. I'm the one that's with the dogs more. Um, so they just naturally see me as a leader. I'm not, we're not gonna fight in the house who's the leader, you know? We just respect what the dogs see and we just follow that. So it's me, Kara, Bruce and Justice. Bruce. Oh, good boy, good boy, good boy, oh. And we follow that pack hierarchy to a T. And we've done so extremely diligently, and that's the thing, people fall off, they're not very 
um, disciplined in life. You have to be ultra disciplined with your dogs, ultra disciplined in everything you do because consistency is key. So how we do the hierarchy is Bruce gets everything first. We get up in the morning. Bruce Wayne gets pet first every morning. He gets pet first. He gets a little massage first. Um, Bruce walks out of the house first. Bruce walks in the house first. Bruce gets in the car first. Bruce gets a treat first. They can eat together in the same close vicinity just fine, but Bruce gets handed his plate first. Everything, Bruce gets first, right bro? You get everything first. And because of that, Justice understands that. I can't even open the door now without Justice waiting. Justice literally waits every time for Bruce to exit before he exits. Um, it's ingrained in him. And that is gonna stop a lot of the even thought of fights happening. He is going to give up to Bruce every time. Justice, let's go. Drop. Ooh, look at this thing. Come here, Justice, show him your face. Come here. Stay. Look at that disgusting face. All right, go get it. You guys see that split fly off that thing? Blah. Justice, let's go. So when I'm working with people, a lot of these cases, it comes down to two things. It comes down to, comes down to one of two things typically. Either there's no clear leader in the house, right? So if there's no leader, there's no hierarchy. And then if there is a leader, they don't have hierarchy between the dogs. They just let the dogs like do it ever together. And it's really up to the leader to set that pack order. Just like in the natural world, there's a alpha of the pack, the leader of the pack, and it sets the tone for everything. They control everything that goes in the pack. When the boss is around, me and Kara, they shouldn't be fighting. If you're at work and your boss walks in, are you screwing off, like messing, on your, messing around on your phone or, or talking back to the boss? No, you're respectful, hopefully, if you're a good person. <laughs> and you're respecting their, um, their position, their authority, right? It's the same in the dog world. I'm taking it from you, bro. Drop. And this is Bruce's favorite toy. That's why right now I ain't letting, um, good boy, Justice have it, and I'm just letting him have his ball. Bruce, I'm gonna, we'll see how Justice does with this. Okay, Justice, get it. No, Justice, get this, get it. Okay, good boy. He wants that ball. He wants them both. Okay, Justice, yep. Good boy, good boy. Tire him out now a little bit. Good stay, Bruce. Justice, okay. Good boy. Good boy. Good stay, Bruce. Justice, drop. Justice, leave it. Justice, come here. Justice, let's go. Stay, leave it. No, leave it. We're gonna just leave it because impulse control, leave it. Hey. Good, good boy. Good boy. Good, leave it. Okay, okay. Good stay, Bruce. Justice set. Justice stay. Bruce. Oh, you too quick. Bruce, come here. Bruce, let's go. Let's go. Good boy. Wait. Bruce, okay. Justice, stay. Bruce, okay. So, very important to keep the pack hierarchy. Justice, stay. Leave it, Justice. Okay, Bruce. Keep that pack hierarchy. You can tell Justice really wants this. And just be disciplined in it. If you're not disciplined in your pack hierarchy, um, you're not gonna get anywhere, guys. Figure out which dog is above the other one. Hey, buddy. Hey, no. Figure out which dog is above the other dog in the, in the pack and just follow that certain pack hierarchy. And it could change when one dog gets older, that could swap, or it may not. It may always be like this. Justice, no. Justice, sit. Justice, stay. Justice, let's go. Justice, sit. Justice, stay. And your dog's obedience and just dealing with them is gonna be forever changing game. You just have to be able to understand what your dogs are telling you. You have to be able to read your dogs and assess every situation. 
once you get that pack hierarchy in place, if you have dogs that are fighting or not getting along, they should at least be able to live in harmony. Um, it may not happen overnight, and it may be a slow process, but it can happen, I promise you guys. If you guys like this video, if you like this type of content, um, let me know. I'll film more of it, me talking, playing with the dogs. I just need to know in the comments, because if you're not liking it, I won't continue to do it. If these videos don't get views, I won't continue to do them, because all it's doing is telling me you guys don't like these videos. So comment for the algorithm, tell me something fun. The thing I'm associated with is linked in the description box below. We have this Corso merch down there, my ebook as well. And my ebook guys, it's a cheap buy, it's an easy read, and it gives you my philosophy of dog training and why I'm so good at dog training and, and just understanding dogs. Dude, you're disgusting. You are gross. You are gross. You would chew in that ball. You'll understand the reason why I do things. Um, just remember, you're always training your dogs. You're either training them to do something you want them to do, such as this, or you're inadvertently training them to do something you don't want them to do. Every time you're with your dog, you're training them. When you're with them, they're looking at you as their leader, so they are picking up what you're telling them. So just make sure that you guys are very disciplined. Hey, stop. <laughs> hey, Dave. Leave that. Hey, leave it. Leave it. Lay down. Lay down, neighbor. They love the neighbor, but he just walked out of the house, so, you know, they flipped out. And they're always picking up on your behaviors. If you feed your dog from the table, you just taught them they're going to get food when you sit down at the table to eat. So you just taught them just that one time that it's okay to beg for food, essentially. So just be very careful every time you interact with your dogs. Make sure you're praising everything that that they're doing properly, even if you don't ask for it. You know, Bruce Wayne goes and lays down if I'm cooking his food or justice, I praise them, I tell them a good boy. That's a way of communicating to them to say, hey, this is the behavior I expect from you, this is the behavior I like. So make sure you guys subscribed, smash that like button, ring the ding-a-ling so you miss any newest videos on Kane Corso's dog training or anything else. And until next time, Bruce Wayne, Joey Justice, and myself, we'll see you later. Peace, guys.